A golden chest. I'm gonna get it this time. Watch! You almost did it. El Guerrero never would have missed the target. You should see all the cool things he does with boomerangs. I doubt he's missed a target before. Throwing with two hands at once, a hundred a minute. In other words, he has wicked talent. I don't have talent. Nor do I. Everything Belle the artist draws comes to life. Even elephants and dragons. And here I can't even get a bird right. See, fly, go on, little bird! <sighs> Either of you guys see a protection field? Mm, no. So the potion didn't work again. Another flask ruined. I wish I could nail these on the first attempt, like Silverstina Bubble Pots does. The first attempt? There's no way our favorite wizards had it that easy way back when they were our age. I wonder if there's some kind of secret to their talent. Hmm. I found it! See here. There's an interview with Guerrero, which says only that the secret to his talent is in... his golden chest? I don't believe it! Now the artist's secret is also in a chest! Silvestina has a chest too! The book doesn't tell you what's in the chest, only that they're in a museum in the Wonder Mountains. But that's clear across Wondermont. Yeah, I'd forgotten how far that is. Two days on foot. It'd take two days on foot, but on a dragon, just one afternoon. Thank you so much for agreeing to take us, Miss Dragon. If you want a famous wizard's talent, I'm guessing you've got to just go sit on their golden chest uh, for a couple days. And to get really talented a couple of weeks. No, I don't think it's about sitting on the chest or anything. I think you just have to take whatever's stored in it. I'll find out what's in Silvestina's chest and I'll brew the most powerful protective potion ever. What's this I hear? A chest with Silvestina's talent? Mm, with her talent, I could mix up a potion to bewitch the whole of Wondermont, including the school principal. <laughs> I think I'm more talented already. I think the chests we need are inside. Anybody here? We're here to look at the chests. That's weird. There's not even an echo. Maybe they've gone to lunch? <gasps> so many chests. We'd better hurry if we want to find the ones we need before dark. This one was Firewing the 39th! Oh, look! The Invisible Princess! The Fluttering Master! Oh, wow! The Sun Knight's chest! Every famous wizard had a golden chest. That's so cool! Why weren't we given one? Maybe you get one when you graduate. I doubt it. The Sun Knight didn't even go to school, did he? He went straight out questing. <laughs> El Guerrero's chest! El the Artist's chest! Silvestina's chest! Oh, <gasps> Baba Yaga! Hi there! <laughs> Banana fling! Every single huh? one. Thank you for saving our exhibit. I'm the Echo of the Wonder Mountains, and I'm also the guide at this museum. Now tell me which talented wizard is such a good shot with a boomerang? I'm Vasco, but I'm not talented at all. That was just a banana fling throw. 
That's how I used to knock bananas off the trees back home. Hmm. <laughs> and the young creator of living pictures? Oh, I'm Helen. But that wasn't talent. No matter what animal I draw, a living bear is all I can do. <laughs> and the brave potions, master? Doria, ma'am. I'm not anywhere near being a real master, though. Returning potions are all I can manage. I fail at everything else. Did you know that even the most famous wizards in history got a lot of things wrong when they first started out? <sighs> but they practiced again and again. And each of them put all their unsuccessful attempts in a chest. And then one day, when the chests were full... They turned gold, didn't they? So, the chests won't make us more talented? Theirs won't, no. However, your own chest will help you very much indeed. <gasps> a chest! Practice, practice. Put your unsuccessful attempts in your chest. And one glorious day, your chest will turn gold. Because those who work hard... I'm gonna try again. And don't give up. We'll get there in the end. A big adventure. I proudly present the newest additions to our museum. Unique finds from our herological expedition. Bracelet of Thumbelina. Wow, she must have been tiny. The armor of Firewing the 39th. Now he was a big hero. Look at the size of that. Hm. Size isn't everything. Maybe his brain was as small as Thumbelina's bracelet. Now that's more like it. The shield of Brunhilde the Clever. Legend has it that Brunhilde was both smart and tough. It's a little odd. Nothing here actually specifies her height. <sighs> I couldn't lift that shield if I wanted to, much less do anything heroic with it. I know, right? I can't lift my youngest brother's shield. How will we be heroes without shields? We have some growing to do. I might have an idea. Let's meet here when class is over, and I promise you will be able to lift any shield. Hmm, they don't know a thing about magic. Fawning over that metal junk and not even a glance at the bracelet. That thing can shrink anything down, as small as you want. Is that a speck of dust there? No, it's the immortal. I want that. So small, but so special. And they're kidding if they're unguarded. And that concludes today's little museum artifact tour. It's lunchtime. <gasps> oh. <laughs> hmm, clever of him. Hmm. What we need now is... We need someone who is small. Someone like... Ah, oh, a raven! Ah! <laughs> and a frog, too. And a spider. There. You're going to be my very own soldiers. My evil heroes. <laughs> I'm your commander-in-chief now. You'll obey my orders. I could barely sit still in class. Okay, we're ready. Show us what you've got. Look, gingerbread men taught me how to make enlarging and shrinking magic cookies. You can grow as big as you want with these and pick up whatever shields you like. A bite of this one and you grow. Eat this one and you shrink. That is, if I didn't mess up the recipe. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And it's in the name of science. <gasps> oh, put that bracelet back immediately! Quick, the shrinking cookie! <laughs> hey, stop! <sighs> That's my old hairpin! And the professor's favorite spoon! Uh, <gasps> this is a sticky situation! Well, it's not Brunhilde's shield, but it suits me fine! <sighs> okay, thief, this is your final warning! You know you can't hide from me in the library! I know every page in here. Oh, gotcha! Hoist the sails! Full speed ahead, set a course for the end of the chapter! I'm shipwrecked. There it is! Hey, stop! Got you at last! Give us the bracelet! Oh. Ah, ah. They've got a whole forest gang! But why the bracelet? Because animals don't wear jewelry. Baba Yaga! That glow, didn't you see it? She's bewitched them to get to that bracelet! 
Quick, put me up on the window and call Chirpy. Chirpy! Hello, Chirpy. We'll go with you. This is no job for giants. Stay here and warn the others. Baba Yaga is up to something. All around is wonderful stories. Some are strange, but none of them boring, yeah. We're always hungry to know more. Learning all the spells we believe in. Secrets of the universe, even, yeah. We're gonna open up the door When times are tough We gaze up at the sky Golden clouds and morning light Come to melt away the night Making way for the most brilliant of clouds We chase after every dream And our Come on! Just a little more! Okay, another enchanted helper Thumbelina's bracelet is now Baba Yaga's ring. <laughs> what should I shrink now? Oh, I know. Everything. <gasps> Great work. I'm promoting you all to general. Meet tonight at Wonderbond School. Then we'll decide what to do with our miniature immortal. <laughs> Still. No. First reverse. <laughs> oh, come on, you little. Big things come in small packages. Oh, I won't say goodbye. I left a pot on the stove. You all just got lucky. Daria, for someone so small, you've shown enormous courage. So, perhaps Wondermont has found its own Bruhilda or its own Thumbelina. Because, you see, heroes don't have to be big. That's why Thumbelina's tiny bracelet is every bit as valuable as that giant shield. Oh, that little menace. I had all these good ideas and she ruined them. <laughs> oh, well, at least I have my soldiers. Ah. Oh. Oh. Slipshod. I got some plumberry seeds from Sunsea. Plumberries are the very best ever. I also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney, dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow and longer for berries to appear. Can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Hmm. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please? With the cherry on top? Of course. But follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney! Huh? We're going to play skip ball. Want to join? I'm coming! Just give me a... Oh, still got to add. One hundred drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon! Hot soup right out of the oven! Thanks! Thank you! And what a great game! <laughs> but we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win! I love playing skip ball, it's so fun! And I love this soup too! Ugh. It's amazing! <laughs> hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop! Hey, don't do that! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you! There! Gotcha! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them? But they were so round! And they made a noise like slipshod! Right? Girls? 
Oh, I believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah. How beautiful. It's pretty. May I have one too? <gasps> Them again. There they are. Rooney, wait. <laughs> find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. So if these guys say slip and shard... Oh! I found them! Slip shards appear when someone makes messy or slip shard magic. So somebody made a messy spell and now we all have to suffer? Slip shards can only be seen by the one who made them. And only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> magic cleaning! Vaggy! <laughs> If you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy. Or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, this time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> the Defenders. Uh, I feel so sleepy. You are the one who suggested we play longer. We could be sleeping right now, Dorma. We'll be in trouble if we get caught. I've received some dreadful news, Shh. Professor. There's been a disaster. The school run by my British colleague, Merlin, has suddenly vanished. <gasps> How awful. I hope the same thing doesn't happen to our school. I wouldn't be so sure, Professor. They are due to arrive at midnight. Let's greet them properly. Girls, what was that about? Don't you know? A terrible disaster befell another school. It's going to come here at midnight and attack our school. Oh dear. How frightening. Mr. Immortal and the Professor will stop them. What if the monsters tricked them somehow? They could sneak inside. What a terrible time for Marlene to be away. This is our school too. We must do our part to defend it, no matter what comes our way. <clears throat> All right, girls. Does anyone have any ideas? I do. As soon as they get here, I'll show them. <laughs> Absolutely not. We don't know anything about them. Whoever they are, rushing in headfirst is too dangerous. What if they're twice your size? Uh, what if Lisa conjured a pond on the front steps? Hmm. So they'll go away to avoid getting their feet wet? So that Helen can freeze it. <laughs> It'll be slippery. Then they'll fall. Good idea, Dorma. That'll 
throw them off balance and buy us some time. <laughs> then when they see our knights, they'll be frightened and run away. Sounds good, Doria. But I don't believe we have any knights to help us. Do we? I don't remember Wondermont having a night delivery service. Delivery in 30 minutes or your money back. <laughs> Actually, I've been reading some of next year's textbooks. It's no big deal. Only six in all. And I learned a very interesting spell from one of them. First of all, we must defend the most vulnerable parts of the school. That means the windows, the doors, and we need a sentry. But the most important thing is my magic spell. With these necklaces, we can bring the bears to life, and they will be our knights. It's already midnight. Be ready for Anything. We're almost done here. <gasps> They're here! Look, I'll bet that the small one is in charge and the tall guy is the dumb one. Like in fairy tales. Girls, let's go. Lisa, go ahead. They have no idea what a slippery slope is in store for them. <laughs> Helen, it's your turn. Must be powerful magicians. Don't worry, we're powerful as well. Time to raise the bars. Living heads from underground, to the invaders where they're found. I don't understand what is happening. What's going on? I wish I had an answer. Something seems to be going wrong with the school. It appears that someone is trying to keep us out. The princesses could be in danger. Princesses? Like damsels? In danger? So you mean... in distress? I'll save you! We'll save you! Wait! Uh. Oh. Uh. Yes! A lot stronger than I expected. Let's hold hands. Time for the life-giving spell. And no matter what, we must not stop chanting. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please defend the school tonight. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Please What's that sound? Go! Oh, brave warrior, Mr. Immortal, sir! Please defend the school tonight. Come on, Vasco. This is our chance to be heroes. Oh, brave warrior, show your mind. You'd better surrender, sir. We can't be responsible for our actions. <laughs> Professor, it seems that I have found a way to fight these bears. Simply tickle them. Oh, brave warrior, show your might. Professor? Uh. Mr. Immortal? <sighs> Who are those boys? Get your hands off our school! <laughs> you see, Professor, we thought someone was attacking the school. <laughs> <laughs> now, girls, allow me to introduce you to Vasco... Hi there. ...and Livon. Good evening. They were students at Merlin's Academy. But one of the students brought the school building to life. <gasps> and it ran off. So the boys have transferred here. That explains it. And we mistook them for wicked magicians. <laughs> <laughs> now I see. So you protected the school. Well done. But you eavesdropped on our conversation. That's not good. And now, it's time for bed. Tomorrow we'll start a new chapter in our life at school. Oh. Virtually impossible. I'm trapped in here! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me out of here? There! This will work well. These bars should hold fine. Good! Cut! Rewind! Show it to me. Playback. Please help me. Won't somebody please get me Freeze out of it. here? Freeze it. This looks better than I'd hoped. 
You can turn it off now. All right. Let's see what the school schedule looks like. Ah, good. The magical task generator. Tuesday at 12.45. What is today? Uh... It's Monday. <laughs> we'll put the girls in our new cell, then make a film and send it to the immortal. The captives will beg him to rescue them. They'll be horrified. I'll have him doing whatever I want. After all, I deserve to be the deputy principal. These books hold the wisdom of generations of wizards. And all you're kicking them about is disrespectful. My kicking them about is the concentration and release of miraculous energy. Yeah! <laughs> all right, girls. That's enough. You know you're wrong. No, I'm not, right. girls. No need to argue. Princesses. This is a most ancient of philosophical questions. Which is better, knowledge or harnessing magical energy? For the true wizard, knowledge. It's obvious. Obviously. Your books are boring. Ladies. Sorry, Professor. Now then, regarding today's lesson, your lab project will be provided by the Magical Task Generator. And the assignment will go to Rooney uh, and Dari. Huh. It's a great opportunity for you to resolve your creative dispute. Now then, go to the oak tree. I'll make an entrance to the virtual reality there. You will show me what each of you is capable of. Hmm. Just two princesses? I won't be made deputy principal for that. At best, chemistry teacher. Fine, I'll cook something up. He's finally leaving. Hey, are you sleeping? Come here. Give me your claw. Bubble bottle flask. Change Professor Cat's intended task. Hmm. <laughs> now we're hacking, eh? <laughs> Let's go. It seems rather strange. Afraid of losing? <sighs> what a gloomy place. For this experiment, that's what you need. Yes! Oh. Want to give it a try? Yes, but my way. How, I wonder? Just a second. Yes, this one. Bind us and wind us. <gasps> Well, not too bad. They broke my beautiful bars! Just you wait, brats! Hey, Falcon, Falcon, it's Eagle. Erase that footage. The professor could have given us a harder task. It's like kid stuff. More like baby stuff. I don't get it. Cool. Huh? This virtual Baba Yaga looks like the real thing. I am the real thing. Oh, cool. It can talk, too. <laughs> 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 Look how daring you've become! Daria, chop the spell, quick! <laughs> What's wrong? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> no, it shrinks back just as tight. <laughs> Can't fix it with your... Yeah! I'm in charge now. Huh. Professor? Someone tampered with the settings of my assignment and I can't log into my account. Allow me. Yes, I see. It must be Baba Yaga. Oh, the princesses need us. Hurry! <sighs> and girls, you are not to leave. Get your camera ready. I'm going to give them a fright. <laughs> hey, stop crying. Beg me to set you free at once. <gasps> What? I should try your spell? How did that spell go again? Something like brined onion or a... Ah, bind us on this. <laughs> bind us on bind us? Why aren't you girls afraid of me? Hey, you! <laughs> bind us on wind us! <laughs> hey, Hut! Stop recording! You cursed little bookworms! <laughs> Doria, stop her! Take a deep breath and feel the energy, then push the energy out! <laughs> you can't do it! Don't try if you don't know how! Concentrate! It's only you, your intentions, and your power! <laughs> we did it! We passed the level! Doria! Rooney! Is everything okay? 
Professor, what could possibly go wrong? This was a simulation. Everything is just fine. A brilliant lesson. A perfect Papa Yaga copy. A simulation? A copy? But girls, everything that happened was real. Real? Real? Yes. Now, what about your philosophical question? Answered. We learned that a wizard needs both books and power. Now I'll take magical gym class more seriously. And I have spells to study. They could be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Reflections. <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty. But you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right. Stop ordering us around. You're bossy. Well, clearly without me, you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine then. Maybe I would be better off too. <gasps> With other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve. And yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> and soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough. I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls, I'm sorry for my horrible behavior, but I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. Huh? Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh no, how clumsy. Don't worry, I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you all right? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Doria and I found outside. Oh, wow. You should wear it. Thank you. Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. <sighs> Girls, what's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror, or we'll be switched back again. Well then, let's replace Helen. <gasps> hmm. Hooray, it's hide and seek. My favorite. First to find Helen wins. To get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. There. Oh, Helen! You who? Where are you? We just want to play. Huh? Hmm. I know you're in there. <gasps> Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? 
just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa! Yes, we did it! <laughs> <laughs> I missed you! Thank you for saving me! We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away! Not yet! Toma, hold up the mirror! But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this! We wanted a different Daria! And it was our fault! Do we do now? Hey you, Mira! Give Daria back! We only want our Daria! Give her back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only want you. <laughs> the Six-Legged Beast As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now with my word. Oh, Helen, that spell is from a fairy tale. I doubt it will... Wow, it worked! They're going to write about us in the Hero News! And you had doubts? Well, some stories are based on reality. All right, Chubby, fly! I will visit you soon, I promise. Why don't we go together? After all, it's not safe to wander the woods alone. But we've already studied who lives in the woods. Like badgers and other animals. Such as birds. The only scary one there is Baba Yaga. <gasps> oh! Stop, Stiff. I'm still. Now you can save me. From a reliable... <clears throat> from a not-so-reliable source, we have been recently informed of an incident. It appears that in the woods there may be... A monster with huge teeth that roars. <gasps> and three, four... Maybe six legs? Six legs? Not six. Perhaps eight. Maybe more. In order to protect our students and Baba Yaga, we have placed highly effective protection traps within the forest to, well, trap, we hope, to capture the... The hundred-legged beast? The cause of this commotion. Mr. Immortal and I shall go to the forest to examine and confirm this recent phenomenon. Or to prove it wrong. Us too! Take us too! Watch out, thousand-legged monster! My dear future heroes, don't even think about it. To keep you all safe and inside, we will be placing a new spell on the windows and doors to keep them locked. Today's class shall be rescheduled to next Tuesday. Now then, where is that special rag of ours? The one that erases spells. Why did they leave all of us behind? Yeah, we'd have shown it a thing or two. I think it might be crying for help. You're right. The hungry monster wants us to help by being dinner. Not at all. Six-legged beasts are quite gentle. It might be in trouble. We have to help it. Helen, we've never studied six-legged beasts before. As far as we know, they only exist in fairy tales. So it's best to stay inside, away from the roaring. Chappy! No one believes me, but we have to help the six-legged beast. The professor uses this rag to erase spells from the blackboard. I'm sure it will also work on the locking spell. Thank you, Chappy. Brave men of Wondermont, forward! <laughs> And brave women, too. Hey, it's open. <gasps> Helen, she escaped. Oh, no way. We have to go save her. 
And if we capture the monster, that's two heroic deeds. Yeah, so this is where that draft was coming from. It's fixed. No need to thank me. Just remember that I saved your lives, or you'd be in big trouble. According to the book I read, the six-legged beasts are very friendly and gentle. They only roll when they're in trouble. But where is it? Oh, I found it! Oh, you have a splinter. Let me help you. Please don't be scared, dear six paws. There, there. This will be quick, okay? Helen! Hey, monster! Release her! I, Vasco of El Dorado, challenge you to battle! Oh no! Please stop! Wait, don't go! What about our heroic rescue? Mm, we've already checked most of the traps. So far, the only thing that we've caught is Baba Yaga's hat. Yes. I haven't found anything yet either. I am beginning to suspect that we may be the only ones here, aside from the local fauna. Did Baba Yaga make it up? <laughs> Now that we've caught him, our names will be in here. Ah! As in tales of ages past, everyone heals at last. No pain, not monster, nor bird. Heal it now with my word. Quickly, Professor. Helen fell in the pit. And so did the monster we defeated? Maybe? No. He's no monster. He's a sweet six horse. Phenomenal. But we must count his legs to be certain. Four, five, and six. Clockwise, there are six. And my counterclockwise as well. It is most certainly an authentic Icelandish Hexapolis. That's exactly right, Professor. An extremely rare beast. And absolutely harmless creature. <laughs> In fact, they are so timid that nobody has ever tamed one before. I'll come visit you sometime. It should be impossible, yet somehow Helen has tamed it. That is the power of her kindness. It makes the impossible possible. Your kindness truly knows no bounds. <laughs> I think that I will stay here. Or then you'll have even more chances to show me how kind and hospitable you are. Oh class president. Okay, class, that's all for today. Before you all go, there's something this school has been lacking. Eldorado stew, right? I love Eldorado stew too, but no. There's something we all need to do. The time has come. We must choose Wondermont's first class president. What's a class president? They help out around school. They go to the magic shops with us. That doesn't sound like a heroic job. Who wants to go shopping? Going shopping, huh? To help carry our purchases back home, yes. And the class president will represent the class at the ceremonial gala of wizardry schools. Who wants, Who wants that? that? A gala sounds really nice. Oh, and I almost forgot. Our first class president will have their portrait hung in the school corridor. Beautifully framed, of course. Uh, hmm. It's obvious, isn't it? That I should be class president. Oh, yeah, why? First off, because I'll look so good in the super beautiful new dress I made. And second, because I picked out the most perfect gems for my tiara, so my portrait would be best, since it will look nice in the corridor. I don't think we should choose based on the portrait. That shouldn't decide who's president. But just imagine it. The ceremonial gala's red carpet. My new outfit would look amazing. As soon as they see it, it'll take their breath away. And then one by one, they'll all be overwhelmed with delight. That tiara's gonna fall off with your nose so high in the air. I am going to win. And shopping with the teachers will be my job. The Immortal and the Professor. What time do they usually do their shopping? During our classes, right? Uh-huh. Perfect! That means I can cook class and have a good excuse for it. <laughs> okay, girls, who are you voting for? The fashionable one? Or the lazy one? Vosco, Levon, who are you voting for? The one who's better at soccer, right? I'll vote for whoever can cook me Eldorado stew for dinner. Yeah, the flavor is famous even in the Kingdom of Seven Peaks. Though chopping and exploding pepper needs real master chef skills. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone here would dare to cook it. Hmm. Are you 
sure this is worth it, Rooney? I want to be class president, so it's worth it. Keep right on wanting, because oh. I'm going to win. <laughs> the magical Eldorado exploding <gasps> pepper. This is what gives Eldorado stew its one-of-a-kind flavor. It's all for me. No, it isn't. It's mine. No. Watch out! <gasps> the exploding pepper requires careful and precise handling. <laughs> ah! uh, ooh, it's got an explosive flavor, too. Girls, did you do this? We need to clean it up as soon as possible. Not we, her. She did it. Make her clean it all up. Oh, yeah? You sorted it. Bleh. Oh. Don't worry, I'll help you. I don't understand how to solve this alchemy problem. I'll give you a hand as your future class president. Not that I understand this either. If you don't understand it, I'll help her out. And then Doma will vote for me, right? That's not true. Oh. Give me that inkwell. Oh. Wow, thank you, Helen. My dress! Rooney, look what you have done! Me? Look at this mess. I have to redo everything because of you. Maybe I won't have homework as president. I'll bring those in for you, Professor. No, I should get that for you. It's okay, girls. There's plenty of boxes. Just take care with them. That's all I ask. That bottle, for example, holds mockingbird mist. If you breathe that stuff in, it makes your voice change. <laughs> Well, the Mockingbird Mist is gone. I just asked you to be careful. It's Lisa's fault. How was I supposed to be careful when she was getting under my feet like that? I'm as careful as they come. It's your fault for bumping into me. Now. Uh, thank you, dear Helen. When I'm class president, we'll be allowed to stay up all night if we want. Just wait and see. And when I'm class president, we'll have more holidays than anyone in the world. Oh, why argue about it? If you want to know who will be class president, you just have to look into the magic well that tells the future. Hmm. Aha! You're here too! Ah! Ah! Turn into a frog, then I can pull you out! You've been so helpful today. I'm here to announce the results of the election. By unanimous decision, we have chosen a class president. It's you, Helen. Really? Of course. While Rooney and Lisa were bickering, you were actually helping out. Even Lisa and I voted for you, and we made up too. Okay, I'll try to be a great president. In honor of this happy event, may I offer a celebratory dinner? Ah, I realize I completely forgot to tell you. My own Eldorado stew will be served tonight. Yay! Vision 3. world's coolest game, Vision 3. My brothers have sent it to me from home. They already have the latest version. What? There's a mission sent who? Welcome to Vision 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Be a great wizard tomorrow. Tonight it's time to sleep. Save the prince from an enchanted castle. Cool. Level 1, the Jolly Jester Corridor. Want to have some fun? Great job navigating those tiles. You are a great wizard! Rooney, stop that! Can you please turn it down? Rooney, it's breakfast time. Come on, Al made us fruit pudding. Bonus! 
bonus level. <sighs> That's okay. I've got my own fruit here on the bonus level. Agility bonus. All right, you stupid spiderweb. Think you're going to entangle me? You're no match for this great wizard. <laughs> ah, looks like you're just playing a game. Rooney, come with us. Daria found an ancient scroll in the library. It's a spell for a triple force field. Let's go give it a try. My force field in the game is stronger. The ancient hall's special protective web is no match for you. You're a great wizard. Oh, you bet I am. Come on, let's get to the next level. Excellent jump. Even great wizards need to eat sometimes to maintain their greatness, you know. You've been playing that for two days now. <gasps> Rooney, where'd you go? I'm inside the game! Well, you better get out of there. I don't know how. The Watchtower Ravens, uh, I can't move on my own. Press the up arrow. Now down. Up, down, down, up. <sighs> Rooney, are you okay? I'm fine. But I think there's something wrong with the game. We have to tell the Immortal before someone else ends up in the game, too. Or escapes from the game. <gasps> oh, what's so Raven? It's guarding the game. <gasps> then let's defeat it together. Player two has joined. The Jolly Jester Corridor. It's level one. OK, if the tile you're on blinks, jump to another one so you don't fall into a deep pit. my kind of game. But this part is so simple. One, two, and we jump. Yesterday I finished this level on my first try. It's not a game anymore, is it? It feels so real. Huh? Really? Uh, this level is so simple, huh? Well, I didn't sleep much. Of course you didn't. Not with that game. A web? Yeah, it's the second level. We need to run through it with a force field activated. I've already done this. It's simple. Oh, uh, well, it was when I played it. Got it. Pay attention, Rooney. One shield, two shield, three shield, force field. Yeah. One shield, two shield, three shield. Then what? <laughs> oh, stupid web. How do I break it? Hmm, there's a button combo for that. But there aren't any buttons here. I'm going to end this level. Rooney, we did it! The Royal Turbo Carpet. It's got alchemic engines. The bonus level. You grab coins from the ravens. Let's grab the whole game. Adventure better than any game. I remember playing Vision One back in the day. The Ravens were afraid of me. That was fun. Here is where the partition between worlds opened up, and everything fell right out of the game. You can play, but don't forget your schoolwork. Or forget to eat. Welcome to Vision Three. You too can be a great wizard right now. Yeah, been there, done that. But I wouldn't have made it through a single level without Daria. Oh. I'd better go practice force fields. I want to be a great wizard for real, and not just a vision of one. Vision one. You too can be a great wizard. <sighs> a whole week. Watch for a package with a present inside on Sunsea Day. With love, your brothers. 
<laughs> I wonder what it could be. A toy? No. Not cool enough. Oh, I can't wait. Same here. I did say I wanted an invisibility crown. Oh, but I won't find out what it is for a whole nother week. Hey, Ruini, don't be sad. That just means a whole other week of playing ball. Let's go. The weather is awful. Grunwald's students were trying to water the plants today. So they summoned rain. But they overdid it and created a storm instead. It'll be fixed in no time. But don't go outside until then. They're not... Uh, the best students. Don't come back! Catch it! Catch it! There must be something here to help me pass the time until it's sunsy day. I wish I could sleep through the week like Sleeping Beauty. This is gonna be a, a really long week. Wow, what in the world is this? To travel to the moment you want, say it loud and clear, and flip the hourglass over. Perfect, just what I need. I want next week to pass by in an instant. Now! you yet. Catch who? It's flying away. It's my package. Stop. It Catch really it. worked. He wanted to make it a surprise for you, but your brothers put a spell on it so that only you could open it. Stop! Don't grab it! It's getting away! Wow! Did we learn that in class? Yes, and I spent all last week practicing it. Catch it! It's getting away! You guys, it's going to escape through the chimney! Invisible lock, shut tight! How did you do that? It's not that hard. I was in the library last week and found just the right spell. Here comes my heroic move in action! Did you learn how to do all that in one week? Of course. There are seven days in a week. Come on, Rooney. Let's see what's inside. It took six of them to catch one little package. Big deal. If I had that week, then I could tame six packages by myself in five minutes. No, four. Maybe three. Hey, wait. I know. I have this. I want the last week back. All right, let's go right away, Hourglass. Yes, a storm, just like before. Stop, stop, stop at once! Uh, Professor, <laughs> you wouldn't happen to, I don't know, have any new spells for stopping things real fast? Um, stopping spells? Of course, how could I forget? Stop still! Ah, but what do you want to stop? Nothing particular, but imagine if someone throws a ball at a window, and I'm like, stop! Now then, let's begin. In order to freeze a moving object, you must visualize it. And then say, stop still! <gasps> oh, wow! Now it's your turn. Ready, go! Stop still! Oh. Uh... You know, Isaac Newton also needed an apple to fall on his head to learn something new. That wasn't bad at all for your first try. But you'll have to practice a good deal to make sure nobody gets injured. Stop still! Oh, I froze the wrong thing! Stop still! Oh, wrong again! Someone catch me! Stop still! Yes, it works! <laughs> Rooney, you can stop any runaway apple in the world now! Stop still! <laughs> Those insufferable girls again! They're always taunting me! Oh, you're waiting for a package, are you? I'll keep you waiting. <laughs> oh, my, the tiger is simply wonderful. I have something to show you, too. Vasco, toss me an apple. <gasps> <gasps> That's my package. That's mine. It's yours. <laughs> Come and take it if you can. You may stop apples, but can you stop me? <laughs> <laughs> Here 
comes my heroic move in action! Ah! Here comes the unstoppable snowman! Oh! Oh! Stop still! Hooray! Good job, Rooney! That was great! I'm getting a package soon, too. A boomerang ball. It comes back by itself if you miss the go. But I won't get it for another week. I hate waiting. Do you know if there's a spell for speeding up time? You know, instead of rushing time, enjoy it. You'd be surprised by how much you can learn and do in a week. Come on, I know what we can do. Let's try out my invisibility crown. <laughs> 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 